Welcome everybody to Forza Horizon 5 and today we're taking a look at the 2022 Mazda MX-5 RF. So this is part of the fourth generation of the MX-5 that has been in production since 2016 and still is to this day as of this video being uploaded. So RF equals a retractable fastback because this has a retractable hardtop but it still has a Targa top body on it as well so um, yeah it's still got a lot of body work there even though the roof can be retracted away but I think that makes it a really rather unique looking kind of vehicle and because this is part of the 2018 update uh, that the car had because um, obviously this is from 2022 it has more power, more torque and an increase in the red line that the engine goes up to which is up to 7500 RPM which is pretty tasty to be honest. Uh, interior wise it's virtually the same as the uh, standard kind of convertible. You just have a little bit less room inside. You've got a slightly shallower uh, glove box uh, in between the seats um, yeah, and you have no cubby uh, hole in the uh, back behind the seats either because that is full of roof or is full of roof when you retract the hard top. It has a decent amount of boot space, but not a massive amount at all. This is not a car that you buy because it's practical. You buy it because it's fun to drive and it looks great, which it certainly does when the roof goes down. So let's take a look at the roof because it is a really rather nifty looking mechanism. So all of that pulls back. And then all of that goes into the little cubby hole behind the seats where you'd normally have more practicality. All thoughts neatly in there. No fuss whatsoever, and then that goes back again, and then you've got your Targa top. I really do like the look of a Targa top. Uh, Porsche with the 911 did it, uh, or do do it. Uh, I'm not sure if they still do a Targa top anymore, but they have done that um, in the past, and they've also looked fantastic. And yeah, this looks fantastic as well. And obviously, with it having a hard top roof, it's more practical. It's more safe when it comes to crashing, either you know for, for frontal impact or you know rolling over with the roof down or with the roof up so um, yeah it's practical in that regard and uh, yeah because it is part of the update like I said this has a more powerful engine than the uh, 2016 version we have on this game as well so it's still got the same 2 litre inline 4 engine but it now has 181 horsepower and 151 pounds feet of torque so, so that is a marginal increase in torque it's 3 extra pounds feet of torque uh, but it's quite a massive increase in terms of horsepower, 26 extra horsepower, so that is a decent increase in power. Uh, it needs it because it does weigh a little bit more at 2,452 pounds, which is around 100 pounds or so heavier than the standard car. But you'd, that's more, not nowhere near enough to offset the extra power and torque. So uh, yeah, this is definitely faster in terms of acceleration than the standard car. Whether or not it's as good in terms of handling because of the extra weight and you know it's probably got a slightly higher centre of gravity with um, a little bit more bodywork up behind the uh, rear seats, behind those seats themselves, then uh, yeah that might well be a thing but overall I think it looks fantastic and with the extra power it's still a uh, really rather exhilarating little sports car that is outside of the roof really rather quite basic you know still rear wheel drive, front engine, uh, doesn't really have any uh, you know uh, peripheries or anything like that, you know, there's no turbo charging, there's no rear wheel steering. I think it might well have a limited slip diff, but that's dependent on the trim that you get. But still, it's a very basic car and it's the kind of vehicle that Mazda have done very well in the past with the previous versions of the MX-5 and they've not really spoiled the recipe whatsoever since. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, nonetheless, let's get out onto the open road and see what this car can do. Right, so here we are at the drag strip, so let's see what this car can do before we hit the speed camera and then we'll get it around the track. So, um, yeah, we've got the roof down, uh, just because I think it looks pretty good with it now. Certainly I think it looks better with it down than up, but it's, it's one of those few cars that actually looks just as uh, nearly as good as with the roof up and down. Most convertibles or most, you know, cars with a retractable roof do only really look good with the roof down so uh, yeah there's 111 miles an hour which is pretty good and yeah handling wise it's very nearly as good as a standard car you do feel that extra 142 pounds with the car and that is kind of re uh, reflected with the stats because the handling stats are slightly lower um, but it's not a massive difference to be honest at the end of the day because it sounds that bit more aggressive with that higher rev line and also with that extra power and torque, it's really hard to notice that the handling isn't perhaps quite as sharp as before. 
Um, so uh, yeah, I think overall it's a uh, pretty good compromise in the grand scheme of things. Still, let's take a look at the stats themselves. So uh, yeah, we're in B class. Low end B class. So let's compare it to the original car. So there's the 2016 version. So yeah, we got 5.3 speed, 4.8 acceleration. Uh, speed apparently is slightly better in the newer, uh, older version. Might be because of less bodywork at the rear, which is which isn't playing havoc with the aerodynamics. But as you can see, the uh, acceleration is slightly less. Handling wise, as you can see, uh, along with braking, the handling is slightly worse, but the braking is slightly better. Maybe because it is a newer model, and therefore the brakes have been tuned a little bit more to be uh, a little bit more efficient. Uh, and uh, launch is slightly better on this version as well. Perhaps because it has slightly more weight up on the rear end there. So, uh, dis uh, weight distribution wise, 51% on the new version and 50% on, and on the uh, old version. So slightly less well balanced, uh, again, because of the extra weight over the rear. Over the front, apparently. Yeah, no. That's a bit weird. You'd expect the weight to be more on the rear than the back, but yeah, whatever. It's fine. It's um, still not quite as balanced, but neither is it um, completely off balance either. So, uh, yeah. And yeah, you really are going to struggle to find the difference in that extra percentage of the weight being out of whack in comparison to the standard car, or the original one, should I say. So, um, yeah, but nonetheless, let's hear what this car sounds like. And then we'll talk about it some more. So yeah, I think this sounds great to be honest. It's really rather nice and aggressive. It's got plenty of revs to it because, like I said, the rev line has increased. And uh, yeah, just sounds like it's going a million miles an hour, although obviously it isn't. But that's the one good thing about these kind of cars is that they've always sounded and felt like they're going faster than they actually are. And that means that, yeah, you don't need a million horsepower engine or anything with more than four cylinders to really make this car or any previous MX-5 to, for that matter to go as well as it does so uh, yeah by no means it's as, uh, nowhere near as quick as you know other sports cars in this kind of class you'll certainly find more powerful uh, sports cars from the likes of BMW and Toyota but they are obviously a lot more expensive this costs less than £30,000 which for a uh, you know convertible car with fair decent amount of power and the fact it can do 0 to 16 6.8 seconds, 0 to 116.9 seconds and going to a top speed of 146 means that yeah these are quite frankly the bargain of the century to be honest because even a Toyota GT86 or something like that has roughly the same kind of power as this although it does way more um, but you don't get a convertible roof of that I don't think the engine sounds anywhere near as aggressive as this and you know MX-5's you know they have a reputation at the end of the day and that is worth its weight in gold especially when reselling such a thing so uh, yeah on the whole fantastic car overall might not be quite as sharp as the standard car from 2016 but that extra power and the extra rev line and you know the different engine noise does make this overall a very tempting car and it is for my money a better looking one on top of all of that so I don't really care that there's that extra bit of weight going on there because Ultimately, when it comes to cars like this, it's, it's about the looks as much as the driving, and uh, yeah, this uh, hits both notes, quite frankly. Whereas the previous one, it was a little bit on the bland side, but with this uh, target top, it does look a lot more, you know, outstanding, to be honest, and certainly uh, helps it stand out a lot more as well. So, uh, yeah, overall, fantastic vehicle, one that I really like. Granted, I would have liked a completely new Mazda that we've never had before, 
whereas this is obviously a slightly more powerful, slightly different looking MX-5 than we've already had. But still, overall, it's a uh, great car and a new one to the Forza series and uh, one that I highly recommend getting. So yeah, you can get it in the uh, for current festival purse for only 20 points. It's well worth getting if you haven't got it already. Uh, but yeah, nonetheless, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.